it's your girl sin and i'm back with another video so if you want to see what i'm going to be doing today stay tuned t-shirt chick all right squad today i'm going to be printing a few shirts with some sample transfers that i got while i was at the iss show so i actually have transfers from three different companies but today i'm going to be printing from two of the companies and i'm going to let you guys check out um right here one of the companies that does transfers and they do customized transfers is fm expressions so you can check them out i don't have any affiliate links or anything for them but you can go to their website and check them out and you know see what their prices are and try it out if you know if that's something to, that you may be interested in and the other company that i have transfers from is actually 613 originals this company I actually got some transfers from last year and from this year. So um, I, some of them are not going to be, you know, they're going to be the older ones from last year. But I'm going to be using them for this video. And I'm going to be printing a few shirts that my son, my oldest son can wear. Because, you know, he likes to wear t-shirts, any kind of t-shirts. He don't care what's on them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a few shirts and I'll meet you guys back over at the heat press. Oh, I almost forgot before I grab these shirts. I do have a few sample transfers from Monkey Prints, but Monkey Prints are no longer offering transfers because they, they said their customers were complaining about them. So, it, you know, if you haven't complaining customers, I probably shouldn't even be, um, you know, doing the stuff. So that's why I'm only doing it from two of them. So right here, these are a couple of transfers. I don't know if y'all can even see right there. Um, these are not they're like kind of small transfers and they're not things that I would want to put on something Because um, right here, it's like a Halloween dog right here. Well two Halloween dogs and then you have a a dog with a beer right here I don't hopefully y'all can see that and then you have a dog with on a skateboard So that those are the things and that's not something I would want to put on anything that I own So just wanted to mention the monkey prints that he used to offer full color transfers But I from what I hear he's no longer doing that anymore because of complaints from customers now you can still get the full color transfers printed directly onto your shirts by him so you know that's another another thing just to let you guys know so i'm gonna go ahead and grab these shirts and get right back over here at the heat press all right i have three t-shirts i have a sports gray i have a charcoal gray and i have a royal blue so i'm going to go ahead and go through these transfers and i'm going to pick out three transfers to to print on and then i'll show them to you guys and give you a little bit of information about them and then go ahead and print them all right you guys i picked out three transfers so i'm gonna um explain to, a, to you a little bit about each of the transfers um both of these companies all offer multiple different transfers for different materials with you know you can get one color print you can get full color print you know all types of prints for different materials so if you if you're more interested because this video won't be very detailed with that i'm just kind of showing you know going through printing i'm going to print a few transfers just to kind of let you guys see but since i've never done it before okay so right here this is the one right here that is from fm expressions right here and um as you see it's a single color and i'm going to read what you say it says one color athletic formula um it's available in one color program 15 cent transfers gang sheet okay and the color of this is columbia blue and it says for fabric types 100 percent cotton cotton poly blends 100 percent polyester you want the temp to be 325 degrees fahrenheit you want it hot peel and you want it to press for seven seconds with heavy pressure okay so i'm gonna um i'm gonna be pressing this onto the charcoal shirt right here okay so then we have uh these next two are from three six one three originals right here so all right this one is a one color design I don't know if you guys can really see it right there. Hopefully you can kind of see it. I 
trying to make it where you can kind of see it okay so this one is actually for it says stretch program providing excellent stretchability without breaking the image it says our stretch heat transfers work great on most performance based fabrics such as spandex and lycra so i'm i don't actually have anything like that to print it on but i did want to print this design because my son seen this one before and he is actually from mississippi so you know he always like for people to know that so i was going to print this one because it has a mississippi design on it okay the temp needs to be 300 degrees and you want to use heavy pressure for seven seconds and peel hot i'm going to be printing this one right here onto the blue shirt the raw blue shirt right here and i don't know maybe i need to switch this one out because it does say for lycra i tell you what what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a another shirt over there i'm gonna get a um a 100 polyester shirt for that and hopefully that'll work out for it. if not I'm, I'm gonna switch it out and get another one i'm, I'm gonna uh see because i'm kind of experimenting myself i've never used these transfers before all right so right here this next one is this is a two color one and this one is also from um 613 originals and it says two color classic program designed to print 100 cotton and 50 50 cotton poly blends transfer gives a very soft feel add a distress pattern to give your logo that classic time worn look gang sheets are like to print multiple logos for the same low price okay so the temp for this one is 375 for seven seconds heavy pressure and you peel hot okay so all of them are hot peel but some of them do have different time temp so i'm gonna have to uh let me check my press okay i have it on 376 so i have this one that's 375 and what is this one and this one is 325 so i'm going to be pressing this one first because it's on my it's on 375 and i'm going to be pressing it for seven seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and set my um heat press to seven seconds and i'm gonna go ahead and press the first one for you guys all right so i have um have everything set up i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and put my first shirt and because i'm i'm doing the transfer first i'm gonna use this and get all of the lint off all right because i'm doing transfers i do not need to use a teflon cover like right here as you see when you're doing transfers you don't want to use a teflon cover you just want it directly onto the shirt so i'm gonna go ahead and pre-press my shirt because i never use transfers and i'm pretty sure you know it's important to do this for transfer so i already pre-pressed go ahead and get my t-squared so that I can make sure that it's in the appropriate place. And I'm going to kind of fold it just a little bit to get the center, to get the center marking on it. And I'm also going to cut off this bottom part right here. Let me grab the scissors right quick. Um, Alright, so I'm going to cut this bottom part off so that my son can actually wear the shirt because it's, you know, that's just instructions. Alright, so got everything set up right here. I'm going to go ahead and close it down. All right. Okay, it said hot peel right here as you see. It's I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Right here it said hot peel right there. So I went ahead, I peeled it off, and as you see right there, it's part of the transfer that's still stuck on here as you see right there. So I'm going to let you guys check it out. Um I'm going to bring the camera over here so y'all can check it out. But well, as you see right there, it said hot peel. So I peeled it right after pressing. Maybe I should have waited momentarily. But as you see, part of the design 
peeled off so this shirt is not usable a wasted shirt i hate that i use a a good shirt to print it so right there as you see not uh, uh it didn't come out good as you see so that's the thing right there didn't come out well i don't know maybe i peeled it while it was too hot i don't know but this is like one of my first experiences with the transfers and also it did um so i'm gonna show you guys the instruction it says it's for 100 percent cotton this shirt that i use it's a gildan heavy cotton 100 percent cotton shirt um i don't know why it didn't work correctly i did what they said 375 yeah so that's the thing right there I don't know I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I peeled it with it too hot because part of it came out good like as you see right here this part it came out good part of it came out good up here so I don't know don't have experience with that it came out good on this side this side is um you know didn't come out too good I don't know so that's the first try with transfers a not usable shirt so i'm just gonna throw this shirt over there to use with the scraps so that's a waste of shirt and y'all you guys know how i hate to waste money and stuff like that so i don't know um we're gonna try again on these other two shirts but right now the first one from 613 does not work and because i see that that first one from 613 did not work um right here I am not going to use this one because it say, it calls for a different material. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to find a different one for this shirt right here and um, and press it. But we're going to move on. I have to change the, um, the setting for this because the temperature is actually 325. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put the shirt on here and pre-press it. And then I'm going to change the temperature so that it will be on the correct temperature for, for the... Uh, for what I'm doing. Okay, I have everything set up for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bottom part, which is basically instructions off. And this one is uh, 325, and it's also for seven seconds heavy pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. And then, the, the right now the press is still cooling off. So once the press cools off, I'll go ahead and press. All right, we got everything on the right temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my T-squared and line everything up. I don't know I feel like it's like some type of coating on here and I don't want to mess my heat press up let me get a towel mess my heat press up but it does feel like there is some type of coating on here I don't know I'm hoping that it's nothing that's gonna um mess my heat press up let me see if I can get some of it off with that yeah hoping it's nothing that's gonna mess mess my heat press up because right now my heat press is clean and that could be a problem so i'm gonna go ahead and press this seven seconds heavy 325 all right i'm gonna try to let it cool slightly but it does say hot peel i'm gonna try to let it cool slightly because last time Maybe I should peel a little slower. Oh, nice. Nice. It came out nice, y'all. Came out nice. Let me let y'all check it out. I don't know about the color combos now that I have it on here, but y'all see how it came out. It came out pretty good. And that was the one from FM Expressions. I printed it on 100% cotton. And it says it's for 100% cotton, cotton poly blends, or 100% polyester. But I think that it came out, the print came out nice. I don't know about the color combination. I might could have went with something different. But 
I think it'll be okay just for a little, you know, a little t-shirt to wear around. And I will try to uh, let you guys know about the washability, but as you see, everything came out fairly decent, nice, looking nice. And those, this is the one from FM Expression. So, yeah, with the, with the first try, we may never have, be, have done this before that, you know, I got a good result on that one. Now on the 613... The 613, it was a little issue right here and right there and over here. So, I don't know, you know, I'm going to do one more right quick and I'm going to be using the, um, I'm going to be doing this one right here. And it's, uh, it's actually fluorescent ink or neon ink. It's the 613 Originals, as you can see right there, if y'all can see that. Um, it's one color neon classic, and it says, it does not say what material. So I'm going to think it's okay for most materials, but I'm going to be using 100% cotton. So I'm going to go ahead and put the shirt on here. And also, it has, it, it, it requests a temperature of 375 degrees. So I'm going to have to change the temperature once again. But I'm going to go ahead and put the shirt on here. And go ahead and pre-press the shirt. <sighs> y'all, I'm trying not to use my abs because y'all know, you know, your girl ain't all the way right just yet. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the temperature right and I'm going to come back and let you guys watch me press it. All right, it's at the right temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Even though this is kind of small, this is more like something that I feel like could go back here but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put it on this shirt right here center it right here in the middle and go ahead and press it Y'all, that one might be messed up. Let me um, try to cool it off slightly, but I don't know if I got it. I messed up a little bit on that, so we are gonna see how it comes out. Okay, it did come out right. Looks like it came out right. As you see right there, it's a very small print, but as you see right there, it did come out the way it was supposed to. Uh, yeah, but it, I mean, it's just a small print right there in the center of the shirt. I don't know how it's going to look as far as wearing it. Let me let y'all check it out better. But right here, that's, that's what it's looking like. It came out pretty good. And neon actually looks nice. It looks nice on there. Um, let me check this out. It didn't leave anything on the sheet this time. Yeah, it came out. Everything came off. It didn't leave anything. So, out of the three shirts I attempted to do today, two of them came out nice. I'm going to let you check them out. Um, I have one of them laid out over here on the table, so I'm going to let you check it out. Um, right there, as you see. I don't know what company that is, but that's the first shirt right there. And I'm going to let you check this second shirt out right here. So, this one right here is, and I think this, uh, the neon yellow and the blue looks nice together but this one is the three one i'm sorry the six one three originals right here you can check that one out and this one is the fm expressions and that's about all i have for you guys today um i know it wasn't much of a video but i never work with transfers and people are always asking me about them so you know I just want to kind of give you an example if I do get to where I need to order using transfers I will order some and do a video on it so that you guys can check it out but um that's you know that's the best I can do right now with transfers thank you guys for watching if you like the video 
be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and I also have a second channel the t-shirt chick uh, live channel where I do live streams daily Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time you can subscribe to that channel and be sure to hit the notification bell on both channels so that you won't miss out on my future uploads and um, if you're not following me on Instagram you can follow me at t-shirt chick TV and you can join the Facebook group which is print squad on Facebook so um, I'll see you guys in another video print squad out